I'm Dave Champlin, a biology professor at the University of Southern Maine, and in this second video about transcription regulation of gene expression during cell differentiation, we're going to zoom in on our blue clay DNA model to explain how cell differentiation occurs without any changes in the DNA sequence. This is where we were at the end of our first video. The two pieces of paper represent a human muscle cell and a precursor to the muscle cell called a myoblast. The cells have genomic equivalents, which means each cell has all the DNA we inherited from our parents, one genome from mom and one genome from dad. With only a couple of exceptions, each cell in our, body has, in our bodies has all the same DNA throughout our entire lives. Each cell has genomic equivalents. That's true in all animals and also true in all plants. Many changes occur during cell differentiation but the DNA sequence doesn't change. Also, genes don't change. Genes are made of DNA and they don't change. So, the clay stays the same in each cell. That includes the parts of the gene, and these are all names of the parts of the DNA of a gene, and they don't change during cell differentiation. We're using clay because building physical models is a powerful way to help students learn science concepts. I'll jump ahead and I'll show you that idea right now. The bottom line in this whole story is that the enhancer is very important. Early in differentiation of muscle cells, a new protein gets made called MyoD. The MyoD protein binds to the DNA of the enhancer of the myogenin gene and activates expression of the myogenin gene. That is going to lead to production of a, the myogenin protein. The myogenin protein also binds to enhancers of other genes and helps activate their expression. In that way, the changes during cell differentiation include a series of dominoes falling. The dominoes represent D, genes. And although the DNA sequence doesn't change, and the gene's DNA doesn't change, gene expression changes during muscle differentiation and during, during differentiation of any cell type, brain cells, skin cells, kidney cells, also all, all include changes in gene expression during cell differentiation. Here, the first domino is the MyoD protein, which is newly made early in muscle differentiation and the MyoD protein binds to the enhancer of the myogenin gene and activates expression of myogenin. That leads to the production of myogenin protein, which binds to the enhancer of other genes and activates their expression. And as a result, we get a cascade of new gene expression that leads to muscle differentiation. The precursor cells have all these genes, but the genes are not active. Now let's take a step back and look at the activation of the myogenin gene by MyoD. The MyoD protein is far from the rest of the myogenin gene, but the DNA is floppy and this part of the gene functions like a tether or a leash to connect the MyoD protein to the rest of the gene. What happens is that MyoD and other proteins team up to, to activate transcription of the gene by an enzyme called RNA polymerase. These proteins, oop, uh, these proteins include proteins bound to the enhancer and proteins bound to the promoter. Collectively, all these proteins are called transcription factors. Uh, MyoD, myogenin, and these proteins are all transcription factors and they bind to the DNA of genes. In humans, there are about 2,000 different types of transcription factors and different transcription factors are used in the differentiation of different types of cells, brain, kidney, skin, and so forth. In differentiation of muscle, several different transcription factors are essential for muscle differentiation, including MyoD and myogenin. All transcription factors function the same way. They all function to regulate transcription 
of the transcription unit by RNA polymerase. All cells have RNA polymerase. The difference between the myoblast and the muscle cell, differentiating muscle cell, is that RNA polymerase is bound and transcribing the gene in the differentiating muscle cell. And as the RNA polymerase moves down the gene, it copies the DNA into RNA during a process called transcription. As the polymerase moves down the gene, the RNA gets longer until it reaches the end and the RNA is, rele the RNA is released and the RNA polymerase is released. Here are full length RNAs made from transcribing this gene. There are many of these in a differentiating muscle cell. There are none in a myoblast cell. The uh, RNAs are bound in the cytoplasm to the two ribosomes and through a process called translation, the RNA is used to guide the synthesis of the myogenin proteins. This is the pathway of gene expression, and there are several steps in that pathway. None of these are happening to the myogenin gene in the myoblast. For some genes, RNA polymerase is actually already bound to the transcription unit, but it's not actively copying the gene into RNA. RNA of myogenin is only found in differentiating muscle cells. Even though the precursor cells have the myogenin gene DNA, it's not being copied into RNA. So in differentiation, gene expression changes. The last thing to describe is just to summarize that differentiation always again involves this cascade of new gene expression. The myoD protein is newly synthesized and binds to the enhancer of myogenin. It activates transcription of myogenin that leads to translation of myogenin and the production of the myogenin protein, which binds to the enhancer of other genes important in muscle differentiation and activates their expression and activates production of those proteins. Those proteins include all the proteins involved in the contractile uh, protein apparatus that's found in striated muscles. In this muscle of the embryonic mouse, the muscle is differentiated and these proteins are all made in the muscle fiber and this muscle can start contracting. As a last idea, students can try to wonder about what gene scientists connected the jellyfish gene to in order to get differentiating muscle cells to glow red when they put the modified gene back into a mouse strain.